Hello. Hello, everybody. Look who I'm with, gorgeous Cameron Dano. Now, he is currently in Legally Blonde, which is in Brisbane at the moment. Yep. Coming to Melbourne in a minute, he plays Professor Callahan, you know, that naughty professor. Yes, we've called him Professor Callist Hand. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. But, um, but he, here we go. Like, when you see Cameron Dano, you sort of think, God, isn't he gorgeous? But he's like a you know, quintet threat. You know how they have the triple threat for, you know, singing, mm. music and dancing. He's good looking and he's directed and produced stuff as well. Mm, That's I pretty have. amazing. Yeah, I love that. What do you like the best? Um, well, I like doing it all. Do it's you? Just, well, it's just yeah. another way of telling a story. So you can yeah. write a song, sing it, you know, direct something. I had to listen to your CD right. yesterday. I yeah. like it. You like it? Yeah, it's a bit country. It's pretty rootsy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I all like live. country. It's, actually, it's, it's recorded live. It's we stood very in a, nice. We stood in a circle and in a cafe in Hollywood and really? we yeah and we just played it we played it down live and wow. there's no auto tuning in there it's just that's it's the real deal it's the real deal you can get it on uh, on iTunes Cameron Dado 10 songs and change I'll put a link everyone so will you, you do can that? yeah I will oh, you're awesome yes Thank we you. love doing that hey so is it fun playing with Lucy and right. David Harris and Millsy <laughs> and all the guys I love them because they're all in Wicked and I started doing lots of Wicked videos which is how I got into these musical theatre videos is that right yeah. it's sort of funny how things turn around yeah and like now that. I know Stephen Schwartz and everything like it's crazy right? yeah that's amazing. Yeah, I, I love it, and and I was only going to do Sydney. That's that that was where really? I was stopping. Really, I'm glad yeah. you're staying on. Yeah, and then and then because of well because of the story and because of, the, of playing Professor Callahan, yeah. which I love to do because I can yeah. do different things every night. Yeah. With it. Um, because of that, those two aspects and the cast, you know, Lucy, oh, this so Millsy, yeah, uh, Dave Harris is a he's a great bloke, and. Um, Erica Haynats. Yeah, oh my fabulous. god, she's so good. Yeah, what about her abs? Oh, that, well, she's. I just came great. out of there wanting to just go on an immediate diet. <laughs> well, she works really hard. I mean, you know, she works hard at it. She's really consummate. And I work hard at it too, but I don't have a body like that. Yeah, but you're probably not skipping three hours a day. Yeah, I'm like not. She does. That must be it. I mean, she's, she's pretty active. Yeah, she's tall too. Uh, yeah, she is tall. Mm. Um, Helen Dallymore. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. And Why? she was a Glinda in Wicked. Yeah, she was. In London. Yeah, well, so what you got? David Harris, was he was Wicked. Millsy obviously did it. Um, Cheeky Luz, Millsy. Cheeky. He's so perfect for that role, isn't he? Yeah, he is, and he's a great bloke. Emmett. Is it? No, not Emmett. He's yeah, Warner. that's Warner. And there's more to yeah. Mills than anyone Look, you just got to you just got to know about yeah. Millsy. And his, his mum's a scream. Have you met his mum? Oh, his mum. Love his mum. She's mom, dying to be on the stage. His, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's a lovely guest. She's a really great yeah, girl. Yeah, she is. Yeah, and um, and his stepdad is great. I mean, he's comes from. He's got a great family. He's an excellent friend. Yeah, he's a great friend. Yeah, I agree. He's very nice. Yeah. Um, so I've got a little following out there on Facebook and I've, YouTube. I've, and I've done my research. And I understand you've got really? a large following, not a and then, following. So I said I was interviewing you like about an hour ago, oh. and I said, ask some questions. So look, here's the questions, and I said I'd ask them by name as okay. well. Okay. So Mark Howard said, it's hey, so Mark. She's she, pretty. she said you're wonderful to see in the show. She took her daughter to see it for her 18th birthday, and she's seeing it again in Melbourne. So that's not a question. That's just like a little statement. Just a little info. Come and see us backstage. Yeah. Or sign something. For yeah. Say hi. Sonia Roberts said, um, well before auditioning, um, had you seen the movie and did you watch the movie during the audition process? No. And no. Really? No. Really? No. I stayed away. Yeah. You'd never seen Legally Blonde. No. I guess it's a chick flick. Well, so, yeah. Well, just that wasn't on my radar at the time. Yeah. yeah I mean, if, if there's an explosion or, a, you know, a gunshot yeah. hasn't been shot in the first 30 seconds, usually for me, I tend to stay away. Did you like Django? I haven't seen it Oh yet. my God, you'll yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I haven't seen that yet. But I understand it's a great thing. But, um, no, I stayed away and then we had gone and left the cinema. So yeah. when I when I did this, I actually turned the audition down initially because wow. I, I only had a day to prepare for it. And I said, I haven't seen the movie. I don't know the movie. <laughs> you get one shot of the first impression. That's insane. And so, you got it. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Jeez. But I, did, I have seen the movie now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and and I enjoyed it. And did you take any of it for your character, do you think, or not? No, um, I didn't, actually. Because um, I think what we've gotten to, I think the musical is, is better, is tells the story of Elle Woods better yeah, I love than the, the movie musical. does. And, and uh, my character's an amalgamation of two in the movie, so there wasn't really yeah. much. That, they, 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 we go deeper on stage with my character than they do in the movie. Yeah, I agree. Mm. It's very good. Okay, Jess Miller said, why did you want to have a career in acting? Because I can't do anything else. <laughs> you can. And acting chooses you, I think. What was your first major role you ever played, and did you like playing that character? 
Um, yes, and yeah. <laughs> I, uh, my first it? acting role was uh, Joe Jones in the miniseries The Heroes oh. for Network 10. And, um, and, uh, there's a puppy guy. That's my husband coming in the door. Well, you should come puppy's his head in and say hi. Uh, he will, no doubt, because really? everyone loves Paul, yeah. Okay, all right, so we know, okay. So just start without me. Yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Come on, we better come and say Come and say hello to everyone, because now that you've interrupted yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Hello, everybody. They weren't supposed to start without me, but I, that's okay. <laughs> 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 you look well. Thanks, mate. So you do. <laughs> right, we're asking important questions here. Um, um, how many yes, minutes so are we up to? We're at... Um, we've got 4.20. Okay. 4.20 and counting. 420. All right, so it was Joe Jones, The Heroes for Network 10. And it was fantastic, because it, um, it was a story about a real expedition that took place in the Second World War. It was basically Australia's most successful commando mission. Wow. And yeah. did that give you like a taste for acting? Or were you, were you probably already acting, clearly. No, no, I wasn't actually. I, really? I, was, I just left Perfect Match to do it. I was on Perfect Match years ago. Not with me. No, with Greg Evans. I would have remembered. How funny is that? <laughs> Who was your co-host? Was it, was it Tiffany? My, my friend no, Tiffany I never, used to co-host that. Yeah, I didn't work with Tiff. You were um, Perry friend, I was. You? Yeah, and then Tiffany and I were mates backstage anyway because yeah. she, I was doing the kids' show when she was doing it with Greg. Ah. The show that is. Yeah. She's fun, isn't she? Mm. The show that is. <laughs> Did you hear that, Tiffany Lamb? Tiff no, Tiffany's cool. Yeah, she is. She's great. She was cool. She still is. She's beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure she is. She's living in Queensland. Go on, Tiffany, you've oh, got to go and send the show with the girls. Oh, my God. Come on. I'm going to send her this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. You've got, yeah. She's oh, got to do oh that. God. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so um, All right. uh, oh, then Belinda Price just said that sounds great because she's in radio mm -hmm. with Voice FM. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared says, have you ever had a legally blonde moment that you would care to share with us? Oh gosh. <laughs> a legally blonde moment? What, what is he referring to? I don't know if that just to? means that have mean? you had a blonde moment. Blonde, I'm right. always doing blonde moments. <laughs> they just go, Cam, you're so pretty. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not the sharpest tool in the bag, you know, so I, I tend but we to... we all have different things, don't Yeah, we? I'm a little vague on details sometimes, and, uh, yeah. What star know. sign are you? Pisces. <laughs> Is that a Pisces characteristic? Dreamy. Is it? Yeah, we, yeah. we, we like to... We, I, I have to go, I've got to get into my cave every now and again. Sometimes that's at the beach or in the, yeah. you know, I in saw the you like surfing. I do love that. Now, Margot Buckley says, how is the gorgeous Alison? For all of you out there who don't know, Alison is... Cam's wife, and she, Alison Bray. I remember her as a teenager. She's the most gorgeous looking girl you've ever seen. She still is. She's yeah. actually better than. Well, I saw a picture. She looks exactly the same. She does, and uh, and it's funny because her hair's still exactly the yeah. same as she did. And it's not by design. I mean, she doesn't. It's not one. She's not one of those people that's hanging on to. Does she buy into Botox and stuff? Oh or no. Not? Good. No, no, no. I'm no. so glad. No, she's she's as natural as they come. Yeah, she's, she's so sexier gorgeous. now than she was when really? she was twenty. Really? Yeah. And you got married about the same time as me, because yeah. I got married in 1990, I think you were 91, weren't you? 91, December 7, Pearl Harbor, 50 oh, years Oh, that's the day before my birthday. Is it right? Yeah. Well, there you go. How yeah. about that? So, so yeah, no, she's that great. Time. And you've got three kids? We have three, Lotus, River, um, and Bodie, my our youngest one. And, they're and are you a protective dad over Lotus? Because she's, you know, teenager. Yeah, I am, actually. Yeah. I read that um, blog about you taking her to a concert and how you had to go there and be with her. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I, um, I, yeah, I mean, I've, there was, there was one moment once where we, we went on a, on a boat with a mate of mine and he's no longer a mate because he overstepped the mark and that was, um, with her and... Isn't that crazy? And you that know, was... What happened with Zoe, a 53-year-old man yeah, wanted to kiss her. Yeah, and this is, this is, the story came out afterwards and, and he, I said, you need to come over. And he came over. Did and we were actually, whack? Uh, no, I didn't actually, um, but... I didn't need to, but he, we were recording it. We were recording together. He, and wow! Uh, I just said you need to pack up your gear. And Isn't get that out. crazy? And he didn't know. And he was like, "What? What?" I was like, "Mate, if you don't know what, if you don't, if yeah. you don't get it." But anyway, what it gave me an opportunity was was a, a chance to really step in for her. And yeah. She knew. <clears throat> she knew she had a dad. Yeah, absolutely. Was, I reckon Paul would be like that too. Yeah. Wouldn't you, Paul? Yeah. I would. Um. So you love being a dad. So how old are the other kids? Um, River's going to be thirteen in a couple of weeks. Yeah, nice. And um, yeah, yeah. I'm are they over there at the moment? Yeah. So I'm flying home. Uh, how long haven't you seen them for? 
uh, I've, I was there for February. Oh, good. So when we when we finished up Sydney, I you went, had a nice I went, break. I went straight home, and then and then now I've I came back out to. And Denver you probably Sydney. Skype and do all that sort of stuff. Well, when Skype works, I mean Skype is that's been a godsend for me. Because oh, I love it because you can never bed, don't you? Well, you? you do, and I mean what I do is is we set the laptop up on the table, um, and it's usually my breakfast time. When they're or you know when they're eating dinner, yeah. so I'm eating and they're eating and we just yak on. Oh no, it's like you're at the night. table. Exactly, because we do that every. That's night. a cute idea. Yeah, and both. You do too. You sit down at the table oh, and have yeah, dinner. Oh yeah, just like this. Yeah. Is Alison a good cook or? Do she's you an cook? excellent cook. Is she? Yeah. I bet she can do bloody everything. Yeah, can't well, she? well, not everything, but she's. I mean, she's good. She's good at what she does and she loves it. And then she's Riff, a jewelry designer too, everybody. Yeah, she's making amazing jewelry. So we'll, we're going to we're going to hook up and yeah, do some stuff wait. like earrings and. Yeah. She does these cut break bracelets and and. Not, so, yeah. She's I can't got wait to thing. see. Hi, Alison. She's got her own thing. Um, and uh, Bodhi, our young one, is seven. Bodhi girl, so. She's... Come on. Any more, do you think? No. No. No, that's it. Now, once you've got past that stage, you can't go back, can you? Although you do have little moments of thinking. Well, I said, you know, I, she, I know Ali has. For me, it's like I said when when we had five it was like we're a star now honey we, we can yeah. just fly let's go yeah you know because once it gets more stuff. you have to get all the cabs and if you travel yeah and it's all the stuff and when Bodhi came I was like well now we, when she's grown out of the pram get rid of the pram because yeah. our garage has been full of stuff for the next one yeah you know so now it's like we're jettisoning all yeah. the stuff so I jettison way too much though because huh. a lot of the memories are in the yeah, and stuff like that, and oh you didn't get rid of those things did you <laughs> no, 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 no. shouldn't have done that Oh, that's funny. Now, Nick Casson says, um, what's it like playing a seductive professor? That's quite in line with that last comment, isn't it? You know, because he's kind of does the wrong thing, that professor, doesn't he? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's it like playing it? It's fun. I mean, look, I get, I, I, I get to wear a great suit. I get kissed every night and I get slapped. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, it's pretty it's perfect. has got it all in, all in one. So, and it's and like I said before, I, I get very to, Fifty Shades of Grey. That very. <laughs> um, yes, we we play. With, I mean, Callahan as well. I mean, there's stuff going on on stage. If you've been to see the show, you see it once. Come and see it two or three times, yeah, and you yeah, see a lot I of agree. other things going on as well. Not too much, but the story's still being told. It's always good to see a musical a few times if you love it, I right, think. Right, and so, yeah, Callahan, he wants to get it on with every woman he's yeah. met. So I always, anyone I'm looking at, I always look at them, give them a little <laughs> wink or pass a little piece of paper across that says, meet me five times, <laughs> five, you know, really on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, Shaz Tunbridge says, being a wife and mum, I'd like to know... Um, Oh, she wants to know about Alice and the kids, mm -hmm. which we've done. Okay. Um, and at what stage? Oh, you're not at the empty nesting stage at all. Not yet. Nowhere no, near no, it. no, 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 no. We couldn't. We're nearly at that point. A, oh, yeah. How's that? It's funny because they're not home. Quite often we'll, we'll come home and we just pull an eye for dinner and we sort of, I, I, you know, we're doing the dishes together. It's funny. It's just it's like... we still love each other. Yeah. <laughs> In there. Well, you're yeah. you're going to find out, aren't you, pretty yeah. quick, right? No, we do. We do lots together. Yeah. I think you've got to. I Did, think you've got to put the time in as a couple. Oh, no, no question. Mm. Did you... Um, uh, did you do you encourage them to bring their friends over? Yeah, to parties absolutely. Here? Yeah, not parties as such, but their their friends always come over, and they've both got partners, and their partners both come over and hang out with us, and we love that. Well, it's, you know what? For a big house, it's really warm. Thanks. Yeah, you don't you don't get. I mean, I go into a lot of big houses in Hollywood, and they're often just cold, and it's like. Yeah, and we use every room like it's not yeah. out of control, big. Yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah. I don't think there's a room we don't use except for the spare bedroom, really. And I, and I really like your artwork. Thanks. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Um. So how did you meet Alison? I met at parties. Did you? Yeah, I was in a dolly doing yeah. a... Doing you two have to stop talking over there because we can hear you. I was doing a... Yeah. <laughs> God, rookies. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was um, in a dolly doing a uh, uh, an interview. Yeah. And I saw Al's picture on the When wall. she won the cover. Oh, I just on the air. Well, she was... She, 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 in, like, she did all those covers. She was yeah. always on the covers of She dolly. was. So, but the thing was, Lockie, my young brother, he... <laughs> Lock, <laughs> Lockie, um, we were, I remember being at home and Locke had a Clio magazine or something yeah. for some reason. Well, maybe his girlfriend had it. Anyway, he pops it open. He goes, whoa, look at that. It's Alison Bray. I said, who's Alison Bray? Ah. And it was an underpants ad. She was wearing men's underpants. Your brother had a crush. I'm yeah, like, he did. He and must then, have died like, when he like, brought her home. Whoa, she's hot, you know. And then you know, a week later, there she was on the wall of Dolly. And I'm walking through there with Carlotta Moy, who's now you know, one of the great photographers yeah. in Australia. And I said to her, and I said, that's Alison Bray. And she went, yeah, she's a mate of mine. Do you want to meet her? And I'm like, hello. So she called Ali and said, you know, Cam, Cam Dado was in. And um, 
And, and then yeah, she had a party and that's where I met her. Wow. And it was an instant love at first sight, kind of, even though you'd seen pictures before. Like, did you get along? Like, was there chemistry straight off? Um, well, the second time we met, there was major yeah. chemistry. The first time, she was so nervous, she'd had a yeah. few bourbons. Um, so <laughs> We've all done that. Yeah, so she, she had a few bourbons. <laughs> so she was, she was a little, little smashed. Yeah. And some of the things she was saying to me were pretty, you know, pretty outrageous. And I'm like, well, I'm going to give this girl another shot. Yeah. So I left the party. That's good. And, That's uh, good to do. And then I said, why don't you come fishing with me? And I have fishing. my... Yeah, I had a knife. I did this beautiful 1940s wooden speedboat yeah. that I had. Um, in the northern beaches of Sydney and she came up to the house and I said come on you come out with me on the boat yeah. so we went out and I was still doing the bright work on the on the wood and so she's got a piece of sand so you get on that side we'll throw the lines out this side and we'll just sand it and we were out there for about three hours just talking wow that's and nice and she was really cool and I was like let's go I'll keep her maybe you know so wow. and, and how then, long before you got married oh uh, I asked her to marry me how straight old away I bet you didn't want anyone just, else getting it she was just 21 and I asked her to marry me within three months. I was 24. Yeah. Wow. It's was, so young, you're like us, except Paul was 30. I wouldn't recommend it because we had a lot of life to live and a lot of things to sort yeah, it's out. It's young for boys, especially. Oh, really yeah, young. It is really young, I, I mean, agree. You know, it doesn't matter if you're on TV, you know, hosting yeah. a show or whatever. It just, yeah, you know, I, was, I, was, I was young yeah. in many ways. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we were engaged for about 13 months and we got married in December of 90. Two. Wow. 91, I'm sorry. 91. And we were in nice. living in America in September of 92. Do you love living there? Yeah. I yeah. love LA. I don't love LA. I love California. Ah. Uh. You know, LA's great. LA's, LA's, um, you know, it's work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but there are parts of LA that are amazing, but California is, I don't know anywhere else in the world. Like oh, California. I know. I love it. Have you been to Sushi You and Me in LA? No. I'm giving you the address. It's, do you like sushi? I love it. It is the best sushi. It's not like just sushi in a roll that you, you know, it's amazing. Okay. It's the best stuff ever. Yeah, sushi's good. I tell everybody about that. All right. Okay. Um, oh, and they love listening to you on Smooth FM. I do okay. too. Oh, what good. happens when you go back to the States? You just, that's I do it. in the States. Really? Yeah. That's the beauty of Smooth, baby. Nice. I really love Smooth FM. Um, Richard Wilkins and they've got, you know, that... Um, what's his name? He sings. You say uh, Ronan Keating. Oh, Ronan. Yeah, he's on there now, and and uh, um, Michael Bublé. Oh, you know. I love Michael And I'm doing Bublé. nights now, so I'm doing evenings from eight till twelve. So you can. I did my first night last night. He's so. got a smooth voice, hasn't he, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jenny Collison, Megan, yeah. can you show him that picture I sent you through messages? Show me. Oh. oh Do you remember wow. this? Look at that. She said, "Wow, this is a Legally Blonde, and that's 25 years ago. Holy smokes. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty wild, isn't it? I know. There you go. So yeah, we've answered the question. She wanted to know what Ali was doing and all that sort of stuff. Isn't that great? Like, yeah. look at her there. Yeah. Like, you're both so it's kids. I know. I know. That's amazing. That's what I like about That's what Alison and I have this. Um, I did this sort of thing. From We have photographs of us two together. And you can just see the years, and it's just yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. And then you it see is. when the kids came and our faces, and yeah. how things have evolved and yeah. changed. It's a really that's because really you call cool. me history Thanks. together, don't you? Yeah, that's really great. I really like. You that. can take that. You can keep that. Thank you. And we've got one minute to go before we get up to twenty minutes. Anyway, I don't think I've got any more questions. Anything else you want to know? Are you going to move back to Australia? Um, um, don't know. Not not sure. Hard to take the kids away from all that cheerleading stuff at school because it's so much fun at school in America, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is, but they don't go to regular high school there. They go they go to a Steiner school. Oh, so Steiner little... school's good. Are they oh, arty, yeah. are they? Yeah, very. Yeah. I mean, that's the way I was brought up. Ali is that way. Yeah. Um, and the kids are certainly that way now. Yeah. They're very musical. And Does very that mean they don't get the... Um, prom and all that stuff yeah well lotus actually lotus is going to the prom she goes to a school called oh, new roads and new roads is a very progressive high school you gotta have the prom if you're going yeah, to this she, she's a junior school. this year so i think she's going to the prom so i think a couple of the, i mean she got boys, a class ring and all that stuff she, i don't know if they do that at new roads they certainly yeah. did when i was i went to high school in new jersey oh um, i was an exchange too oh, were, were you an exchange no the whole family moved yeah. across but yeah certainly you got the i got the letterman jacket you could have the ring if you wanted it, huh. you know, and, they, you know, that was like, I, I, and I thought that I think class rings are so ugly. They are, I know, but I had to have one. <laughs> yeah, I had to have one. And they're gold, right? 
right? Yeah. I mean, this shit yeah, is gold. They weren't cheap, but I think the stones are just faking things. Oh, but, of course. But I loved it. Yeah. Hopkins High School and the year, and yeah. it was fun. Yeah. Anyway, everyone, go and see Cam in Legally Blonde with, you know, Lucy Durack and Rob Mills, David Harris, everyone, yeah. Helen Dalymore. It's such a fun show, isn't it? And it, it really is. I, and, yeah. I will be seeing it again in Melbourne for sure. Yeah, and come and see us. I mean, we're, we're at the Princess Theatre, so. That's a dedicated theatre. It's not a theatre yeah. that's tucked away in a casino or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you know? exactly. So there is a stage door. We come out of there. You know, we'll probably go have a beer in the stage cafe. Stage door's store. fun. Yeah. And, I love uh, stage door. So, well, you know, like I did, I, here's with the picture right there. See? Yeah. Isn't that fun? Yeah. You'll have great. to show Alison. Anyway, thanks everyone. Go and see Legally Blonde. It opens in May in Melbourne and it's in Brisbane right now. Bye. Bye.